Did you hear that? I didn't, uh, I didn't hear what he said. How dare he shout at you? Now, you're taking yourself a knock. Oh, ah, yes, <laughs> listen, before you stop, careful. be careful. Now, look, you've been in show business for, for many years. Yes. Any, <laughs> any ambitions left? Yes, I'd like your job. <laughs> so, Sarah Wogan, anyone can sit there and say, you've been in show business for many years, um, have you any ambitions left? But could you go, ooh, ah, no, ah, no, no, ah, no. But this is quite a different yeah, You can't do it, can you? No. You're defeated. No, no. No. <laughs> no. That's the word. So, so no. What's, what's the first requisite, do you think, to being a comedian? The what? Requisite. <laughs> Sorry, you don't, don't, uh, you, what is that? Tr tr translate that into English what, for me. What is, what is the first requirement ah, to being a comedian? The first thing. <laughs> thing, yeah. thing yeah. Hmm. Well, the point is this. <laughs> the point is this. But you see, the public, the one thing, the first thing the public want from an artist, the most important thing the public want from an artist is sincerity. That's the, th the important thing. The public want an, an sincerity from an artist. And if you can fake that, you're made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, yes, I do. Also, what, other things you need, too. <laughs> yeah, I saw you watching uh, on the, in your dressing room there, Henry V. That's right, yeah. With uh, Lawrence Oliver and all that lot. Yes. Now, You've seen Hamlet. Have you seen Hamlet? Yes. It's the play I'm talking about. Yes. Hamlet, yeah. the Hamlet, play. Yeah. Now, it's three and a half hours. The thing is, could you learn the words? That's the point. Could you learn the words of all that lot? Oh, ah, the, no, you know? I don't think I could. I don't think I could. No, could this, I, this job is very easy compared to learning lines. Do you, do you have a problem learning lines? Well, I think actors, most actors do, because the, the, the first thing you have to learn about a part is to learn the thing. And you have to, it takes hours and hours and hours. And the actor's nightmares forget the words. That's mm. the, they, they call it a blackout. And I, 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 when I learn words, I can't sit still you know, and just sort of do that. I have to learn them like a parrot. You know, the parrot, I, you know, twice two or four, twice four or eight, twice eight to 27, and things like that. What you mean? <laughs> and you have to learn words. I go, I, da, 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 and say the same thing time and time again. At the moment, I'm doing what is known as a one-man show. And this one-man show doesn't one man because there's a lady pianist with me. Well, she's a woman if she's not a lady. Not Madame. No, <laughs> no, 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 Madame, no Madame Rogers. This is Madame Rogers. And um, it's, it's a long night. It's over. Two, it's about two and a half hours. I have to learn all the words, and that's difficult to, to learn. Actually, learning words, and I go over these words and over. I tell you, I swear this is true. I give you my word of honour, this is true. <laughs> you think I'm just making this up for the show? Mind you, I would. But if it's <laughs> true, it has to be true. Do you know Holland Park, Tom? Yeah. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a lane goes by the side of it called Holland Walk, and it's a, just a little lane. And I was out, was a, not this Saturday, last Saturday, and I was trying to learn the words. And I was walking up and down learning words, and I went up to the, 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 I was going, oh, the, the diet, I don't care about the diet, diet, diet. And I saw some people coming up behind me, you see, so I went, mm, no, don't, so they're gone. <laughs> I thought, let them go by, I think. So, started so again. I was loud, because I wanted to you know, lose the voice. I was saying, now, diet, I don't care. It's got to be done. And all of a sudden, a man came behind me with rubbish shoes on. Rub so I didn't hear him coming along, you see. And he, got, he looked at me as he passed by. He was a middle-aged man. He said, God, he said, what the devil? You're making a spectacle of yourself, aren't you? I had a hat on. So I thought, he doesn't recognize me. I'll talk louder. So as he went by, I said, I was learning words, rehearsing. He said, uh oh, oh, that's some story that. I said, it's my job. He said, you want to get your bleeding self seen to? That's what you want. <laughs> I thought, doesn't know who I am. I was going to hit him when he was so big. Yeah. But being recognizable causes problems, isn't it? It does indeed. I recognize a uh, face, you mean? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes it can be good, as you know, but as you know yourself, but sometimes it, it can be embarrassing. Yeah. It depends what you're doing, doesn't it? Of course. Really? <laughs> you see, you. Now, look, you, you're about to revive, they're about to revive one of your great successes. A funny thing happened on the way to the forum. I'm doing that in the summer. Yeah, that's a reputation for vulgarity, isn't it? I beg your pardon. <laughs> Did I hear a right? Well, it, it has a reputation for rough talk. And well, it was a, it was a, it was, it's a fairly broad show, let's put it that way. And after that, I did up pumping. That got a bit of a reputation. But it wasn't, I mean, compared to what you see today, it's not in Toyland. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I would, what they get away with today is I wouldn't dare do it. Besides, what is vulgarity? Vulgarity is in the, is in the mind. It's like beauty in the eyes of the beholder. It's like beauty in the eyes of the beholder. I mean, different people say, to, you know, taste. What is taste? 
I'll give you an example now. I'll give you an example. Yeah. Uh, but v vulgarity. Now, let's say, take the audience here. Now, here we are now. <laughs> now, listen. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. I'm on one, am I? All right. Now, I know a friend. We'll see. We'll see. I'll prove my point. I know a friend of mine who was a cricketer, you see. And sometimes he bets right handed, and sometimes he bets left handed. Right handed and left handed. So I thought to myself, how does he do this? What's, how does he work it out? Is that the wind? Does it go? Or is it uh, premonition? So I said, look, excuse me. I said, look, Ian, tell me. I said, now, when you're batting, <laughs> quietly, sometimes you bat with your right hand, sometimes you bat with your left hand. How do you figure this out? He said, my wife. I said, your wife? She, he said, when I wake up in the morning, he said, Terry, and she's lying on her right side, I bat right handed. Now, if I wake up in the morning and she's. <laughs> And she wake up, she's lying on her left side, I bet left-handed. So I said, wait a minute. Suppose she's lying on her back. He said, in that case, I phone up and say I'll be an hour late. Now, wait, 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 wait. Because that means she wants her breakfast in bed. You see what you're going to No, you don't go to me. Glad to welcome again, and we hope you'll come and join us again sometime. Frankie Howard. Thank you very much. Thank you.